I'm uh, Walter Lorenzetti for, uh, of uh, GSTW, an Italy company. We are uh, the creator and main maintainer of a GTW suite. Uh, today, uh, in talking about the new custom model of a GTW suite, Q processing, that is an integration between the, that is a porting of uh, uh, QGS processing future inside the GTW suite. For who don't know what is a GTW Suite, uh, I can tell you that a GTW Suite is a framework uh, that um, through that it's possible to create uh, WebGI services uh, just uploading your QGS project uh, file inside the suite. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, GTW Suite, uh, as you can see, is made by two models, GTW Client and GTW Admin. GTW Client is uh, the WebGIS interface is made by JavaScript. Uh, uh, open layer and Vue.js framework, and GTW admin that is uh, the administration component uh, and is made by Python Django and is fully integrated with the QGI server thanks to uh, PyQGS API. Hmm? In fact, in, in fact uh, uh, GTW admin work as, uh, also as OGC services directly for GTW client uh, and works as uh, API services for, also for GTW client. Uh, at the base, we have a, a database that uses this uh, administration database, but it can be used as a, as a geo database. It's possible to use every type of data, also file system data, that uh, geo data that uh, uh, QGIS servers can read. Through GTW Suite, uh, what is possible to do with GTW Suite? In this in the in this slide, uh, I can summarize the. the the, the future of a GTW suite. Sure, you can publish uh, your QGIS project as WebGIS web services, just one step, just uploading the QGIS project. Uh, you can control the access, you can uh, set the access control in front of, of, your, uh, of your services, uh, thanks to by users and rules. You can expose your OGC services uh, and you can access the control of that. But uh, thanks to, th thanks to uh, main editing uh, um, capabilities or uh, editing online of the geodata of GTW Suite, uh, it is possible to create in total autonomy also web cartographic management system. Mm -hmm. uh, GTW Suite uh, is made by uh, a plugin system where you can, uh, uh, where through that it's possible to extend the capabilities of, of, the, suite, of the suite. In fact, uh, uh, thanks to uh, this plugin system, we have, developed the, we have developed the new QGIS processing models, but we have developed other type of models, for example, models that are in, uh, integrated the PyCSV uh, framework for to expose metadata uh, information of your project. But today, uh, I'll talk about uh, Q-processing. Uh, the idea behind the birth of uh, Q-processing, it was the porting of uh, Q-processing framework of QGIS desktop uh, into GTW Suite for end user. Uh, for end user for to, uh, to, to perform the same analysis that they can do inside their QGIS project. Hmm? Um, for to do that, we start uh, from the processing model design. Mm? Uh, in the first time, we, uh, we think it to, to do the, the, the porting of every algorithm of the QGIS project uh, framework, of, uh, yes, of the QGIS desktop framework. But uh, uh, we think it, it was uh, too, uh, too expensive to, to do a work like that. So we think, why don't start directly from a model, a model designer of uh, GUI processing? Uh, in fact, uh, is it just simple that you can? Is it is it just sufficient that you can, you can do your model uh, inside the QGIS desktop, uh, export the dot model file tree, the dot model tree file, and upload it inside the GTW Suite for to to get uh, a processing uh, services in, inside the GTW suite. Uh, in this way, if also if you want to use also, uh, if you want to use uh, also uh, uh, or just one uh, algorithm, you have to make a model, okay? In fact, uh, using the same paradigm uh, at the base of GTW suite, uh, you can take your dot mod, dot mod file, you can upload inside GTW suite uh, and uh, 
you can have uh, the same uh, um, model running inside your data bus suite. For to do that, uh, we, we, we made um, a porting and we made a translation between the, the uh, available, available input uh, desktop uh, of Q uh, processing into uh, relative uh, web inputs. Hmm? Uh, at the moment, the input supported uh, that uh, you, you, you look at this, um, this slide are Boolean input, distance input, uh, field mapper, number, restal layer, uh, vector future, also for selected future for the layer and the vector layer. Hmm? Uh, at the moment, it's possible to define the project layers as a default. Naturally, it's depend uh, from the depend by the project that you want to associate your model. Mm -hmm. And in the next release, we think uh, that we, we, we will upgrade this, uh, this input support. For the algorithm. For the algorithm, at the moment, every QGIS and GDAL or GL native algorithm are supported, okay? By, thanks to QGIS server and, QG, and PyQGIS API. But uh, also GRASS, Saga, and uh, third-part uh, uh, applic uh, algorithm application, it can be used. Uh, uh, the requirement is that the, so the, the software is be installed inside the server uh, with GTW suite. Other aspect that uh, we imported, uh, uh, we translated, uh, for example, are the, uh, the possibility to, to, um, to follow the order of the inputs uh, in, uh, in your, uh, in, in, uh, your uh, form input. How it works? Uh, it works in, in a very simple way. You can make your processing model inside your QGIS desktop. Uh, you can go inside the GTW admin uh, interfaces. And uh, in the section of uh, processing, uh, you can add an, a new model. In this, uh, in this new form, uh, you can upload your dot mod dot model tree file. Mm? You can associate to one too many projects at the same time mm? when you want to use. Uh, and uh, optionally, you can choose uh, the, what user can run the, the, the model, or, or group of user, or roles that can uh, uh, run the model. Because by default, uh, uh, as uh, uh, GTW admins works, uh, uh, only the uh, owner and uh, the editor of a project, uh, and usually the, uh, sure, the admin level one, can run the model on GTW client. Uh, I want to show you how we uh, we, we make uh, the translation between the, the desktop input uh, and, uh, and uh, to, towards uh, the web input. In fact, uh, uh, for example, uh, I want to show you uh, I, how it works, uh, the uh, project layer inputs, uh, so the vector, the vector layer inputs inside the uh, GTW client. Uh, in this case, uh, when you set an input vector layer inside your, your model, uh, you can find inside the GTW su on GTW suite uh, uh, a form like that, uh, where you can select uh, every vector layer inside the project, uh, or you can upload uh, a new vector data directly by the web, or we add uh, a new feature that is not pre present inside the QGIS pro processing, uh, uh, and uh, the, the possibility to, to draw directly some vector uh, data directly on the main map of GTW suite that can be used as a vector input. Also for the, the input, also the, the, the output, we, we made a translation between the uh, QGS desktop output and web output. Uh, at the moment, uh, those there's, there's are the, the um, the output that we supported, we supported vector formats, in particular shapefile, GeoJSON, KMML, KMMZ as an expo format. We support a CSV, rasters, PDF, if you, your model contain uh, algorithm with uh, uh, layout simple or atlas uh, outputs, and uh, HTML plots also. When the, uh, sorry, moment, uh, and how it works, uh, um, 
uh, when the, the model uh, is uh, running after to the output, uh, the, the, for example, the vector outputs uh, are added uh, in, uh, in uh, automatic mode to the, to the map, uh, and uh, it will be available also for the download. Now I want to show an example. Uh, in this example, uh, we have a model with uh, these two types of, the, uh, of uh, uh, data, data. We have a vector polygonal layer and uh, a series of thematic raster hmm, as input. Uh, in this model, we want to uh, uh, create a, a, um, a series of uh, uh, polygon selected data uh, that are inter intersecting the thematic raster. Hmm? And uh, the output of the model will be the vector polygonal legal, uh, layer with zonal statistical data and the PDF with main statistic uh, um, information. As you can see, we are on, de on QGIS desktop. We have, uh, we have, uh, sorry, I, don't, I can stop a bit. Okay. We have a project where we have a, a vector layer and a raster layer for the analysis. In this moment, we choose uh, a, the model. Sorry, it's too fast. We choose uh, the model to run. So you can see that the model could be also quite uh, not simple. <laughs> and uh, now I want to show you how it, how it works. You select the vector layer or the future selected on the map, the running uh, of the, the model. After, as uh, as a processing of desktop, you can see you, can, you, you find uh, the vector with the statistical data, but also the report uh, created thanks to print layout of QGIS with statistic and map about the rest. Now we can go to our GTW suite uh, deploy. In the section, you can choose uh, uh, Okay, you can choose uh, for a particular project uh, the model where w that you want to associate to this project, and at all, it's it. The model is just active inside the project. We select uh, some future from the main vector layer. Now you can see that in this section we have the same model and the same interface that you can find inside your QGIS desktop. We choose the layer, we choose the, to use the select feature on the, on the map. We're running the, the model. And as in the, in the desktop, you can find the, the same layer with the same results. and the layer, the, the data about uh, uh, the PDF report. Okay. You, you can obtain this, the same results uh, as you can obtain on the QGIS desktop. Um, what is the combination? Right <laughs> Control A. Okay. Uh, at, at the moment, Q-Process is working in line. So you have to wait for the results of the, 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 the processing run, uh, running. 
but it's possible to, to run group processing uh, and uh, the activity also in batch, uh, in batch mode. In fact, GitWS uh, with GitWS Suite is possible to make uh, batch processing. Hmm? In this slide uh, is, uh, is a show how you can deploy GitWS Suite by, by Docker and Docker Compose. And uh, you can, okay. <laughs> And uh, in, in this area, inside the, the blue block, uh, you can find another, another instance of GTW Suite that is work as, uh, as best processing for, uh, for to, to run. But at the moment, it, is, it, is, uh, it was uh, only experimental because we have some limitation. For example, some algorithms uh, that contain uh, uh, PDF results, uh, so that imply the use of uh, uh, printing system for QGIS desktop have some problems, have some issues, but uh, don't worry, just speaking about uh, that with uh, QGIS developer. <laughs> and, uh, and all. But uh, uh, in general, it works uh, with some limitation. At the moment, uh, the current release is uh, the 1.2. Beta 1, or Beta 2, I don't remember very well. And uh, for the next release, uh, we want to increase the number of the inputs supported. We want uh, to support also the embedded analysis model that you can save inside the UACRGS project. And uh, uh, also the possibility to, to, to show the user manual that you can write uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, QGIS processing desktop and sure, improves, in, uh, improve the batch processing. Hmm? Uh, we are intention to, to launch a graph funding for to, to upgrade uh, uh, these, uh, these, um, these modules. So please, try it, and uh, if you want uh, uh, some issues or some uh, future, write us. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, do we have any questions? I'll try not to hijack this meeting as well, but I, I was wondering when you invoke them, do you have your, are you using a standard way of invoking like an VPS or OGC API process or you, you have your own endpoint where you invoke these or how, how are these invoked? Because I was oh, quite sure. Sorry. Uh, we use uh, VPS and other services, uh, for example, uh, for other models, for other custom models. Ma we, thanks to this integration with uh, PyQGS, uh, we, we think that why don't you use uh, directly the processing uh, capabilities of uh, QGS server? Understand. And is there a scenario where you can see that this processing step could run serverless? Sorry? Serverless. Oh, serverless, uh, no, it's no. not possible. No, okay. No. <laughs>